The following podcast may contain adult language and an abundance of salt. So get ready, nerds, because we're talking Invasion, Episode 9, Full of Stars. Welcome, everybody, and thank you for joining us on another episode of the Salty Nerd Podcast. This week, as always, we are talking about Invasion, Episode 9, Full of Stars. And I'm joined, as always, by my fantastic panel of nerds. Matt Vader is here. Bro, I had to drink. I couldn't talk about this show without drinking. This is a hard show. To it's talk nine thirty-five, fifty in 50, the oh, morning. Is it? Wow, man, time flies. Yeah, well, we had to have a meeting, <laughs> but uh, I, I just can't talk about this this stupid show sober. I can't. I hate this show. I hate this show with every fiber in my DNA. I, I can't. I hate it. I've gone to the point where I'm just going to like put up with it and watch it and make fun of it because we do talk about it on the show and it's our most popular videos, which is, which is weird to me, probably because we have so much venom and bile and hatred for yeah. this thing. And people like to listen to us to just, I'm just, I want it done. I'm over. <laughs> I'm completely over this fucking show. I just. <sighs> Judas here. Oh no, she's not. She, oh, she's talking about <laughs> Was that me or you? I've Thank never you. loved you more. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Jude is here. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Are you ready to talk about this? I just feel so connected to Vader right now because mm. this is how I felt about Falcon and Winter Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to end. And the frustrated producer of the show, Matthew Kadish. So up until this episode, I was like, this show is bad, but, you know, <laughs> it's kind of lovably bad because, like, we can make fun of it. This show made me hate this episode made me hate this show yes. it, made, it made me so angry to watch this episode and be like what the hell is going on <laughs> in fact uh, we we've even had people in our discord talk about how other youtubers have given up on the show <laughs> <laughs> and one of the reasons this is uh, our episodes on it are so popular is because no one else is covering it anymore <laughs> we're the so only bad. ones sticking through it so yeah like this was oh we're, we're, we're going to talk a lot about this, but before we do, I just want to remind everyone that we're trying to get accredited on Rotten Tomatoes. So go to um, Apple Podcasts and give us a five-star review because we got to get 200 of those suckers in order for Rotten Tomatoes to recognize us as a legitimate uh, movie review podcast. And uh, if uh, you just want to go on your phone and go to saltynerd.com forward slash rate, R-A-T-E, that'll take you to a link that will allow you to... Um, basically give us a Apple podcast review. So super easy to do. It just wow. occurred to me, I don't think I've given us a rating. So <gasps> yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do that. You're a madman. He's got domain names for everything. <laughs> yeah, salty nerd dog, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I can't talk. Um, uh, just really quick. Um, yeah. I, I, I have to acknowledge something that I just noticed. What's that? What? On the Twitter, I just noticed that uh, uh, you're going to make 3PO a very happy guy. Matthew. Yes, yes. I did you change your he profile picture? He changed his profile picture. <gasps> what? I know, it's weird. I'm not on Twitter <laughs> anymore, so I didn't notice. Yeah, uh, Jay actually uh, tweeted at me and said, like, okay, you can be back in the cool kids' club. <laughs> <laughs> he did already, he already noticed it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I did, good it, for I did him. it days ago. That's so. awesome. Why did funny. he hate your profile picture? He just didn't like my original profile picture. Or was it? Is it the glasses? Yeah. It's the glasses. Yeah. Oh, well, I hated that one too. I, like, <laughs> I, I like that one better than this one. I'm, a, I'm not going to lie. Everyone hated that one. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why I kept it on for so long. Just out of spite. Just me like going like, hello. You look like such a weirdo old man. Um, I also that was wanted, the point though. I wanted to look like... A, a perv. A weirdo. Yeah, yeah, a perv. I wanted to look like uh, the guy from Mythic Quest. Mm. All right, everybody. Before we dive into this episode, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Hey, if you want to support the show, go to saltynerdclub.com. We are doing a special offer for December only. There are 50 slots open for our limited edition hat. Join the $30 tier, and you are going to get access to that hat with a certificate, also Discord access, and a huge library of backlog extra content that we have only for members. Also, the four exclusive podcasts that you get every single month starting in 2022. We're doing legacy sci-fi like Stargate, Star Trek, uh, Doctor Who, all the really cool older sci-fi shows um, from an era that was way better than the one we're living in right now. Uh, <laughs> all right, that is my spiel for today. Um, God, this freaking show. Uh, Invasion, Episode 9, Matthew Kadish, take it away. Yes, Invasion, Episode 9, entitled Full of Stars. Guys, this is the penultimate episode. <sighs> oh, geez. drink. Penultimate and fascinating, right? Oh, oh that's, God that's, damn that's it. That's a double whammy. Oh, 
<laughs> you got yeah. your thesaurus ready? Kate, Kate I do. Well, All right. uh, God, Johnny Walker, man. <laughs> Oof. It's rough. All right. <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. So, Go for it. <laughs> um, we're going to start with Mitsuki Yamoto's story. We start the episode by getting to see Hinata and Mitsuki's first hookup with Hinata comparing Mitsuki to David Bowie in space or stars or something. Don't really care. It's already boring as fuck. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. It's Cut to Hinata waking up in space, somehow magically in her space chute, because if you remember in the first episode when her shuttle got destroyed, she wasn't in her full space suit. Her, yes. her name's Hinata? Yes, Hinata. I, Hinata. I did not know that until just now. <laughs> I've only been saying it every episode. So. Uh, she then swims in the vacuum vacuum of space <laughs> to what wow. remains of her spaceship where she sees her TikTok videos that Mitsuki sent and gets on the radio to say Wajo for some fucking reason. We still <laughs> don't know what Wajo means, but who the hell cares at this point? Mitsuki is happy to talk to Hinata again, but the people listening in notice Hinata isn't breathing when she talks and theorize whoever is speaking to Mitsuki might be body snatched. So they cut off contact with the possible imposter. This pisses off Mitsuki, who is convinced Hinata is alive and needs their help. The scientists in the room ask if she, if she can prove that Hinata is really who she claims she is. And on cue, Hinata starts playing David Bowie music somehow. Oh, and that convinces Mitsuki and Hinata's father that she's the real deal. But it doesn't really matter because the evil U.S. military decides to use the spaceship's signal to figure out where to fire a nuclear missile to blow up the alien mothership, killing all the aliens on the planet and saving humanity in a last-ditch, desperate ploy that actually worked. But Mitsuki is sad because her girlfriend died again. So she climbs up on the big radio dish and decides to take a nap on it, as you do. The show ends with an alien ship falling from the sky in a great big fireball. Where Where is it going to land? Who cares? The aliens are dead. This should be the end. But unfortunately, we still have one more episode to go. And probably a second season. So You just sound so beaten. I know, he, he does. He's, this he's was, broken. Um, Ground okay. control to me. Shut up. Tongue. I never want to hear that freaking song again. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Okay, here's my thought, right? The whole like swimming in space thing. Awful. I lost it. I was uh, watching this and I'm like, she's not. Yeah. They she's opened not. the episode. With I, that. I know. I'm like, there's I, no way. Yeah, the, there's no way they're going to do it. And there she is. Listen, that was. I <laughs> wished I was watching it with more people so that I could do this. <laughs> what, what, what's going on? What? That was pre credit. I know. Pre opening <laughs> credits. And I'm like, and done. Somebody <laughs> put that in a script and then somebody so, else filmed it. And then a bunch of people said, yeah, that looks good. That's so really good. Okay. So here, here's my my thought on this because I I know it's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, guys, why can't people swim in space? I think I <laughs> okay, honestly <Marky> think <laughs> this whole thing <laughs> it was a fast for years nine or something. Um, I think this was all a dream. No, no, not like a not the, like the, not the, like the, not in the, the way that the not, writers of this show are not that clever. I, I said it wrong. I think this sequence is her imagining how her girlfriend survived. You mean Mitsuki is imagining this. Yes, she's imagining like, how how is she talking to me? Something had to have happened. Maybe she got back to her spaceship somehow. This is like her thought process. And then it's actually, because the whole time, everybody else is sitting there going, it's not her. She's dead. She's not breathing. This noise is generated like synthetically. The aliens were trying to fool her into talking. To, I'm, I'm trying real hard for this show. I don't know why. Okay. Remember <laughs> how you need to stop trying. Remember how I said that in the last episode, Sam Neill's going to wake up. Mm -hmm. I think this is all a dream in Sam Neill's no, head. God. And it's also in Japanese while he's dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's the only, that's the only explanation. Yeah. Is that the aliens were faking this whole thing. That's why they played David Bowie. No, that's the why only explanation is that the writers are hacks. <laughs> You, you know, you know that that is a GIF or GIF. I don't know. Whatever. GIF, GIF. Um, of uh, of uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Oh yeah. And he just like cocks his finger and yeah. sticks it in his head. Yeah, the, yeah, it's a GIF. Yeah. The, you you just need to put that on loop, <laughs> and watch it instead of watching the show. Yeah, we're we're, we're basically Neil Patrick it's Harris brutal. has this meme of him blowing his brains out yeah. with his fingers. Finger yeah. guns. Finger guns. We can get it in. There. I, uh, I can I, find I, it. I do have a new word. Oh, you have a new word I have, I have to a, describe it? Is it thesaurus time already? I, I have a thesaurus word for this. Go for it. Um, are you ready? Yeah. Man, are you ready? So my, my new thesaurus word for how terrible this show is, instead of saying bad, um, abominable. 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 Like I think the, that's a really good word. Like the abominable snowman? Yes, wow. abominable. And there's like a list of like 50 words that oh, I'm going to use 
instead of that. Yeah, she when she started swimming in space. Ridiculous. I I, the, oh, I cannot think of any other reason except for it's just somebody's imagination. Like, I think, it cannot I think be June real. and I turned to each other and we were like, she's swimming in space? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if the writers are aware of this, but you can't swim in there space. are there is no friction in space. So no matter how much you flail your arms and legs, <laughs> you, you can't change anything if your momentum is such. Hey, remember that thing where like the aliens talked and like shapes were made in the sand? I just wanted to make sure everybody saw it. Oh, okay. I remember, <laughs> I remember I was watching this thing and I was like 30 seconds into the show and she swam, you know, like Princess Leia floating through space. You know? Oh, no. And Why I, would you? Because I want you to have to edit that movie. <laughs> <laughs> the video. And, no. Uh, I mean, you got to go rewatch it. I do. It. I have to go watch Princess that scene. Leia, except Princess Leia just used the force. Yeah, there's no That reason. made more sense. <laughs> the fucking last Jedi made more f- fucking sense. <laughs> In this stupid show. At least, you know, because it, oh, well, she used the force to float through space. Yeah. It was bullshit. I never thought but, I'd hear you say <laughs> those words. But, you know, Matt, you know, that's funny that you asked that because you know what I did this week, dude? I made a top five list for me. And I know you like your top five list, right? I do. Um, I made a top five list of things that I don't hate as much as I hate this show. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All this is going to be great. Oh, should we save this for the end? Um, I can do it whenever you guys want me to. I yeah, can let's sprinkle see, it yeah. in during yeah, the show. Let's cap, it. cap the episode. Yeah, we'll cap the episode <laughs> with Vader's top five things I hate less than Invasion. <laughs> we should all do that for the finale. Okay. <laughs> I also, That's a great idea, V. I, I also like how basically the, um, the, com- the climax of the invasion is the military is like, why don't we just nuke the mothership? Mm-hmm. That was, that was it went, still on Independence Day. Will, went, Will Smith isn't around for this show. It, he yeah, was, he was like, too smart not to be on this show. <laughs> it, it did the, the fatal flaw of like every movie since The Phantom Menace. It's just like every bad guy dies when you kill one thing. Uh-huh. Like, it, come on, yeah. man. But I did like how like the Americans were coming in like, hey, guys. Let's just take care of business, well, okay? Well, here, just get this done. Awful. Hey, we're American. We love we weapons. Love to, we love to blow shit up. <laughs> I, want, I want to see some like kung fu action. I, I want. I want to see you know, like a like a what's his name? The soldier dude, Tremonte. Trevon- Trevante. Mm-hmm. Trem- Trevante. I, yeah. I don't. I don't care. Yeah. I want. I want to see him doing some fucking like Bruce Lee shit out there. Fighting, yeah. Fighting one of those. Fighting the one, well, of, well, one well, of those refrigerator so, so, crawlers. So, so here's the thing. <laughs> Throughout the course of the series, they made it a point to show that the aliens wiped out all the satellites surrounding Earth because they didn't want um, the humans to find their spaceship. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is like, we still have telescopes. Mm -hmm. Uh, You you know, the the whole point of Mitsuki's storyline was that there's this one radio tower that can find, you know, the the shuttle that was up there, uh, which the aliens also supposedly destroyed. But because the shuttle was still online, they were able to use that to figure out where the alien ship was so that they could shoot a nuke up at it. Um, but the, you know, this whole storyline could have been like every scientist on earth with like a working telescope is searching the skies for some anomaly. And once they find it, they just need to nuke the fuck out of it. And but they couldn't tell each other that babe, because there were no satellites. Uh, Trevante made a transcontinental phone call <laughs> from the UK to oh, the U S from a TARDIS. Uh, yeah. Fr- from a phone booth. Yeah. So don't tell me that the landlines weren't yeah. working. <laughs> You make an excellent point, sir. Or CB radios, or literally anything. Yeah, Morse code, radio, anything. Like, like there, there are ways that they could have communicated. I mean, the, the the general in Japan was communicating with someone in America who was going to shoot that nuke. So, I mean, like there were ways to do it's, it. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, how did he? He was in Japan and he called Big Daddy U.S. and was like, "Hey, here it is. Point the missile that way." Like he, that communication is right there. So there's okay. USA. Okay. USA. <laughs> <laughs> this show is just obnoxious. And I'm also really frustrated with how it like ended. Like that's it. It was so anticlimactic. And, and it, it's weird because like, we still have another episode. I know. What are they going to do? Well, what, what was also weird is, is so like there was dialogue in Mitsuki, in Mitsuki section where they were talking about how the aliens were turning the atmosphere into poison. And we were like, when did that yeah, happen? Yeah, I know. When did yeah. they, when did they... and I looked at it. We like paused it. We were like, when? Uh-huh. <laughs> and then like three scenes later, we see something weird happening to the environment. Yeah. You, you know what? what's interesting? What's 
terrible about this show, amongst other things, <laughs> is, is that so like the premise of it was that we're seeing an alien invasion from the point of view of regular people around the world. And we're seeing like different aspects of the invasion. That was like the original concept. I don't really think they pulled it off. But the thing is, is, is that we never get to see like the full scope and scale of the destruction that the alien invasion is causing. Mm -hmm. And so like, you know, when people are like, oh, like all this terrible stuff is happening, like we just don't care because we don't have any context for it. And that's like a huge problem with this show is that, you know, like it's just missing the broader context of the alien invasion because everything we've seen has been so localized to these characters and they haven't even seen the worst of it, you know? So like it, you're, you're just sitting there watching the show wondering like, like why are people like, why is stuff supposedly so bad? The, um, the mom storyline. I have so many questions. We'll get there. Oh, I, 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 I could talk <laughs> for the next day and a mm. half about swimming in space though. Yeah. Let's just start the, this. The, the <laughs> amount of, Stupidity, incredulousness that I <laughs> oh, feel. Oh, um, that's a good I feel insane about it. <laughs> I I feel. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I feel like this is my villain origin story. Mm. This show <laughs> cracked me, and now I'm just I'm the Joker, and I'm just smiling crazily <laughs> and laughing for no reason because. My mind is broken now. Swimming in space. I get it. Amazing. Also, yeah. where did the David Bowie song come from? Aliens. Well, I mean, they just, like, they just really like David Bowie. I mean, yeah. Hanada had to play it. So, like, what, did she have like a, I don't know, like she, an she iPod had like a, or something? I think yeah, it, I she think, had, I think she it had was... a six CD uh, switcheroo <laughs> player in the shuttle. <laughs> what were you gonna say? I, I think they were just trying to like set the mood. I, 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 feel, I feel like there was like something in the first episode that showed that she had the ability to play music, but I don't really remember it. It just kind of came out of nowhere in this episode. Um, it was, and, and then like, so the opening scene where we get to see Hinata kind of seduce Mitsuki, um, and she's talking about how like she's cold like the vacuum of space, but like she's also full of stars and light and stuff like that. I, I was like, is this how lesbians seduce each other? I, I don't get it. Um, every time we see Hanada speak, I just think she sounds like an insane person. Like, well, well, the TikToks, who's, right? Who's into this? Yeah. Like this lady, her brain is on another fucking level. She's mm. just like trees, like man. The, and like everyone around her is like, <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. Tr tr fucking trees, right? The Japanese yeah. Elon Musk and, now, and now she's like the cold vacuum of space. And David Bowie. And, and <laughs> it's just so fucking weird that the girl she's trying to hook up with is like, totally. Yeah. <laughs> you're hot. Right. You're a like David Bowie. She's um, like you're, so you're, not, you're not like everybody right. else. I can't, I can't really talk cool. about this anymore. She's like so smart that oh like, I don't God. even understand half the shit she says. I don't, I don't want to talk about this. You have really cute blonde hair. I'm done. This is so stupid. I mean, she is kind of cute. I'm going to give her that. She's very cute. She's very cute. But what is this show? I don't know, man. Hey, hey, blah, 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 blah. Matthew, um, can we talk about piece of shit? <laughs> yes. Yes, we can. Let's go. All right. So uh, the next storyline we're going to cover is Anisha Malik. A scientist is doing science things on some alien jizz, and with the help of Anisha and her magic alien-killing bullshit device, finds out they can actually kill it. The military then decides to ship out Anisha and her family along with the magic alien metal to the frickin' Pentagon, their reasoning being that Anisha and her family may be the key to using the metal to kill the aliens. So, you know, instead of letting someone else use the metal and see if it works without the Malik's involvement, they're just going to ship the whole family off in an armed transport halfway across the country. <laughs> Outside, the survivors of the shelter are upset for some reason and throw stuff at the Maliks and the potential savior of the human race for more reasons. Uh, the Maliks climb into an armored transport and leave the military shelter for Washington, D.C. While on the road, the transport is attacked by a group of yahoos who apparently stole weapons and vehicles from the military shelter and want to stop the Maliks and the magic alien killing bullshit device from saving humanity. How four dudes were able to get past an entire National Guard squadron and why the transport had zero escorts to protect what could be the most powerful weapon in a losing war for survival is anyone's guess. The attackers use their guns to somehow blow out a steel line tire and flip the transport. Then these hillbillies in flannel proceed to shoot and kill armored trained soldiers while the Maliks run off into the woods. 
Despite being hunted by some bloodthirsty weekend warriors, the Maliks decide to stop running and chill out for a bit. But as the hunters close in, Piece of Shit tells Anisha to get the kids out of there as he deals with the morons hunting them. Anisha doesn't need to be told twice and takes her two whiny brats and fucks off while Piece of Shit finds a friendly soldier wandering the woods. The soldier asks him to call out for his wife using her wrong name. This alerts piece of shit that this soldier may not be so friendly after all. He calls out for Anisha to run, and the soldier reveals that he's with the hunters and shoots piece of shit dead. Or does he? Who cares? The guy should have died episodes ago. Anisha's kids start screaming when they hear the gunshot and how the hunters don't know where they are by this point is anyone's guess because those kids were fucking loud. Anisha trips and falls, finding an area in the woods that's covered with alien jizz. She uses her magic bullshit device to kill the alien jizz in front of her so that she can blaze a path to safety for her and her children. Luckily, she doesn't have to do this for long because the nuking of the alien mothership kills off all the alien jizz. Huzzah! So this storyline with the alien killing metal was completely pointless. Thank you, show. You are a class act. Odious. <laughs> I'm going with odious. <laughs> I, you know, I didn't realize how ridiculous this storyline was until you literally just like spoke it out. Yeah. It's horrible. Because this was split up, of course, like this show does. As soon as something exciting happens, it cuts away to something yeah. boring. Don't get excited. Don't get excited. <laughs> don't. No, we don't want your heart rate to go up. Don't like it. So it goes to like something really mundane and boring. And then it comes back to the action after things have already happened. And you're just kind of like, okay, I guess we're just going along for this ride. But everything, everything about her storyline is completely pointless. Yes. Nothing mattered at all. Not a single thing. Not the kid's nosebleed. Remember the nosebleed? Yeah. Yeah, remember him saying Wajo? Yeah. yeah. Remember he had like some special connection? Hey man, we still have one whole episode. Shut up, dude. It's probably going to be six hours long. <laughs> this is the finale. <laughs> the show ended. <laughs> the aliens are dead. It really did seem that way, huh? Oh, that's what, yeah. So yeah, this whole, Anisha's whole thing. The only thing that I can think is that, and it's so, it's, it's so poorly done <laughs> that again, it's breaking my brain. Um, but that... Like they made piece of shit such a piece of shit in order for him to sacrifice himself in this episode. And like, who cares? Oh, yeah, right. Who gives a shit I about this guy? I was hoping he was gonna get killed. We want him to die. Yeah, that's that's it, right? I kind of want the kids to die too. <laughs> they're, they're annoying. <laughs> yeah. This whole this whole the whole family in this storyline is annoying. I don't even like Anisha, cheating bitch, fucking. Make, making out with the, with the other oh, doctor and stuff. Oh, stop. It's like, it's like, you know, she's all mad at him for doing the same thing. And then she goes and does it last episode. And, and that's and, another story thread that went nowhere. Went nowhere. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's just, man, it's just everything about this, 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 this storyline. I just, I can't stand. You know, I, I, was, I gave, I'm sorry. I, I just gave zero craps. Yeah. When, I when, when, when piece of shit, you know what? Took a bullet. I don't care. Yeah. I had questions when I was watching this episode. I'm like, why, why are they chasing them? Who are these rebels right. who are like chasing the U.S. Explained. military? You know what I thought for a second, and I, I thought that this was why they kind of like made the relationship between her and that other doctor, mm -hmm. was that maybe he was the one that was like... We have to go rescue her well, No, no, no. I thought he was the one that was sending like, or like he was with them with the guns and it, like the whole thing was to like... Why? Well, well, if, I don't know. If, if, I if don't you, know. If you guys paid attention to the last episode, which I know none of you did, um, so uh, How dare you? Luke's new best friend who showed him the morgue, mm -hmm. uh, we get to see his that kid's parents uh, last episode, and that kid's father is the one leading the charge to kill the, the Maliks and get that medal. Mm. Um, so like if you, like he was in the last episode for like a split second, like if you blinked, you'd miss him. But he was the one leading um, the charge against like these guys. Are you sure they just didn't use the same actor for two different episodes? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's, let's well, be they real they here. Are, they obviously use the same actor. No, I mean like it's like two different characters, but we're like, well, we don't have any more extras. So let's just get this guy. Nobody noticed well, him, well, right? The weird thing was is like, so they set up that the survivors who knew about what you know luke had uh, were upset for some reason um and you know the the soldier that piece of shit finds who's like the the turncoat he's like working with the hunters mm -hmm. um he, he says like we're not going to let them kill us and it's like wait the metal is the thing that would prevent them from killing you they're already killing all of you why are you trying to get this you know, kill this family and get this medal. Because no, none of it made any fucking sense. They, they didn't don't. set any of it up. They didn't pay any of it off. It was the most stupid, hackneyed, lazy 
plot device to make this storyline interesting uh, for the second to last episode of the show. Like, I, like I get the end of the world happens, things go a little crazy. There's always going to be some group of like nutcases who are going to take things into their own hand. Like, I get these like, guys maybe, were at a military that's, shelter. That's what I'm saying. Full it's of like, soldiers. How were they able to overcome these people and go after it? And why weren't there more escorts for like the the one thing that we know can kill these aliens? Like, it it just logically didn't make any fucking sense. And no she sense. she's running out there in the woods, and they're calling her name for way longer than they needed to as far as like the move, the show goes. Yeah. Like, yeah, we get it. They're looking for her. But it was like 15 minutes of her running around and them going, come here, it's fine. Like, yeah, yeah she's going to believe you. Yeah, it was funny. Like, <laughs> they kill all the soldiers and they're walking through the woods. It's like, lady, it's okay to come out. <laughs> and they're just like, it's oh, totally God. chill. They're like, Ali, Ali, oxen free. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to watch out with you. <laughs> and, and, and then like when she finds like the, the part of the forest that's like completely covered by the alien, yeah. like terraforming stuff, I guess. Um, it was just kind of like, okay, why not just go around it or, you know, but, but she's using the alien metal to kind of like blaze this trail so they can get away from these guys. But like, it, it, they've never made it clear. Like if you step on that stuff, does it like try to eat you or like, I think that's what like, uh, the, uh Casper's mom was like all like taken over by that stuff. So I think if well, you I, get I in thought it, she was attacked by an alien, probably that too, whatever the aliens <laughs> touch, maybe it like, yeah, leaves the. Goo behind the, the residue behind just, something. Uh, that's a, that's the a heck of a word. Residue. Res yeah, that's a good one. Um, I I don't know. Man. I don't have much else to say about this other than um, I don't care that piece of shit's dead. I hope well, he is they dead. Never they never showed, showed him it. die. And, um, they they, you know. they they did this again in the home invasion episode where like yeah. he gets attacked by aliens. We never saw him die, and then he shows up again. And this one, we hear the gunshot. And he kind of falls out of frame, but like we don't see him dead. So somebody shot the. the Bad soldier guy. And the next episode, we're going to see him be piece like. Of shit, piece of shit just fell down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he thought he got hit and he like fell down. He's like, oh, thank God I'm alive. Yeah. That, that, that'll make me so angry. I'm it's sorry. Like, it's, it's like, like it's come like, on. It's like Orm when he gets shot with the arrow from the freaking, the farmer soldiers. Remember they came down and he's like, oh, I'm dying. I'm sorry. And then Arva comes over and pulls the arrow out and it's like a blunted tip. And he's like, they're not using real arrows. <laughs> Yeah, Remember that episode? Good, good yes. Norseman reference. That was great. Better show than this one. <laughs> yeah, better show. Watch Norseman, guys. It's really good. Um, yeah, terrible show. I don't. I don't. I'm like. I feel so defeated. I, like I was. I was shocked at how bad Anisha's storyline was. Yeah. This episode, particularly, like none of it made any sense. And the entire time we were watching it, Jude and I were just like, "Who are these guys? And why are mm -hmm. they trying to kill them?" Didn't make yep. any sense. Mm -hmm. nope. I'm so angry that this show is still making me ask questions as though I care. And, and the second to last episode. Yeah. I, you know, I there was like a glimmer of hope in me that like maybe they're going to pull something out of their ass in the last two episodes or maybe the season <laughs> no, finale. I, I've been saying all year. I know, you're going to be like, oh, the, the last the episode is going to be awesome. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. <laughs> Probably not. This episode, I'm, I'd like, I don't even... I normally have fun talking about this show with you guys, but I'm just, I'm so like... We're over it. Ugh. It's just like enough. It's like, it's like it's like they're taking a, a freaking railroad spike and like hammering it into our brain slowly yeah. through our ear hole. It's it's crazy. I'm, I'm fully lobotomized. <laughs> I'm having a great time. I do kind of feel dumber. <laughs> you, you, I feel you know, Stepforded. Like, you, yeah. you know what's even worse about this show is that it takes itself so seriously and it's so fucking pretentious mm -hmm. that they're, yeah. they're like, oh, we're high art and we're doing this like no. cool thing. Uh, yeah. You know, like we've got this great gimmick and, and you know, we're going to reward you from for watching nine hours of this bullshit. It's like no show. Like you're a huge failure. You just piss off your audience. No one should watch this show. I want to shake my finger at the show and just tell it. Go no. for it. It's like, no, I, I don't need a show. I don't, even, show. I don't even want to talk to anybody involved with this show. I really don't. It's just like, I hope they don't discover our podcast. <laughs> you, you know, I hope, I hope no cast member of this show starts listening to us and goes, Oh, these guys are funny. And, you know, and shares it with the, and shares it with the production crew and it spreads through, you know, Listen, the whole thing. I don't think that's, we have, I don't think we're in danger of that. We have so much love for C that even when we do poke fun of it, we still love it. I have no love for this, no show, love for this show, man. Yeah, like I said, this episode yeah. made me hate the show. Yeah, yep. like yeah. up up until this point, I was kind of ambivalent about it because it's just a bad TV show. But this episode was insulting to me <laughs> as an audience member, and yeah. it made me angry yeah. while yeah. I was watching it. It broke all four of us at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm definitely broken. I don't want to talk about it. I sent a text to Matt. Is she swimming <laughs> through space? We're still on that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my yeah, God. I, I mean, like that that's one of those unforgivable sins of a science fiction show. Oh, oh my God. God. Is this even a science fiction show? I mean, it wants no. to, it wants know, to be, but no, I don't Absolutely think it qualifies. Not. This is um, the technical term for this show, I think, is bullshit. <laughs> yeah. That's the category that it falls into. This will be like a Jeopardy category. All right, someday. moving on. Yeah, what happens to Casper? Is that who's next? Yes, Casper Morrow. So oh, Casper, geez. Jamila, and Trevante arrive at the hospital where Jamila's mother works. But don't worry, we never get to see her, so she doesn't matter at all. Who does matter is the doctor they convince to give Casper a seizure, who is basically bullied into doing so by who else but Trevante. Mm -hmm. They strap Casper into an MRI, and Casper tells Jamila to fuck off while he tries to save the human race. Casper and Trevante then have yet another boring-as-fuck conversation, because now the writers are trying to rush relationship building between these two characters, despite multiple episodes where they were just walking around the countryside and the desert doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> The doctor finally tells him to shut the fuck up and starts inducing the seizure. Casper has a bunch of crazy visions of the aliens, but his whole, I can stop them with my psychic connection strategy, seems to be forgotten as he glimpses all the alien shit. For some reason, he starts saying Mitsuki's name, and you'd think that maybe, possibly, he might get to talk to Hinata and send a message to Mitsuki, and that would make both the storylines relevant. But don't worry, this goes absolutely nowhere. It seems the aliens don't like Casper's mind melding with them much because they send a bunch of hunter killers to the hospital to find Casper and presumably kill him. Casper knows the aliens are hunting him, so Trevante tries to get Casper and Jamila out of the hospital and to safety. However, there's more than one alien space herpes hunting them, and bullets don't really seem to do much, so Trevante burns one with an oxygen tank, and apparently Casper can feel the pain of their burning, and uh, tries to rush the kids past the remaining aliens. They're almost to the exit when a group of aliens surrounds them. All looks lost, but don't worry, Casper finally uses his superpowers to make the aliens stop in their tracks. They sneak past the aliens and get outside just in time for Casper to collapse. He says something about his mom and then fucking dies because the alien mothership got nuked and he was connected to the alien hive mind and died, never telling anyone what he saw during his seizure. Thanks for yet another pointless storyline show. You fucking suck and I hate everything about you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a letter to the show that, from you. That was... Perfectly, uh, perfectly. Um, that was good. Guys, Synopsed. I have some really, really, really bad news. Um, <laughs> Don't tell me it got greenlit for a season two. No, uh, Sam Neill is in this episode. <laughs> I know, I saw. Did I was you? hoping you guys all caught that. I did not uh, catch uh, that. One glimpse. One yeah. glimpse of Sam Neill. During when his he's seizure. his seizure. Sam Neill is in one of the freaking, in one of the, like, the oh flashes. It, it's just a shot from episode one. Yeah. They put in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, he read the script yeah. for the show, right? And said, I'll do the first episode and then I'm so out. Now, oh, oh, oh but, but, but wait, we, we got one more storyline. Jim Bell Tyson, he's still dead. Maybe. Oh, okay. Was, is that it? Is that it's only the three storylines? Is it? Yeah. Um, it feels like more than that, huh? It did. I, this, this, this thing dragged. So the only, the, literally the only moment in this show where I was like somewhat interested is during the little back and forth cat and mouse game in the hospital. Okay. I was like, okay, if the whole show was like this, it might be kind of cool. But I was afraid for a second that you were going to say the back and forth between between Trevante and Casper oh, no. when he was getting when he was about to get his oh. seizure induced, and and, he, and Casper's like, by the way, what's your name? <laughs> After he just told the doctor <laughs> that he's Casper's guardian, <laughs> and also Jamila's like, hey, I got a gun. <laughs> Can that convince you? And and then Trevante's like, let's not bully her. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Remember that what, moment where he points at, I'm going to kill you if you don't give this kid a seizure. The fuck you see, kid? You little piece of shit. What's up? I love you, kid. Oh God. I'm here for you, kid. Oh, you remind me of my dead son. What's another word for bad, Vader? Yeah, give us another thesaurus word of the um, day. Another thesaurus word? Okay, I got one cocked up and ready to go. Oh, right? boy. Did I, does that use that word right? Sure, yeah. Sure, yeah. Um, reprehensible. Oh, yeah. Like that's it. That's a good one. Yeah, right? good stuff. That's reprehensible. Good. Yep. This is a reprehensible storyline. <laughs> yes. And awful. also, like, if you notice, both Anisha's and Casper's storyline, completely pointless. Yeah. Pointless. Had yeah. nothing to do with the ultimate ending they of the show. Killed you, the kid. You know what this move this, or this this show needs, right? Zendaya. No, even she it, wouldn't be able to no, save this they, 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 they got discounts Zendaya. They do, but they need Zendaya. It's the only thing you could be able to save this. No, thing. I don't think so. No, but I was like, I was, I'm watching the end of this, and I'm like, okay, where's this going to go? 
And Casper just croaks mm-hmm. on the street. At least, at least they showed us some aliens for longer than five seconds. Yeah. yeah. Well, like I said, you know, they, they blew their entire CGI budget on black and, blobs and walking on around. On black refrigerator yeah. crawler blobs. Why but their little shimmery skin skin. Refrigerator what? crawler? I don't know. You don't know, know what a refrigerator no, crawler what, is? No, what does that mean? So they're little octopus looking things uh-huh. that you used to be able to buy at, at any. For like 99 cents. Yeah, you buy oh. like a bag of them. You get them wet, right? And you throw them against the window oh. or a refrigerator. Oh. And they go. Okay. Down, okay. down the side of it. Exactly like these things. It's, and that's, that's what they are. And and you know what, uh, like the whole part where Casper was being hunted by these aliens and Trevante was trying to protect him and stuff mm-hmm. like that, I, I felt like like that was cool. It was it was like okay, like this is how the show should have been mm-hmm. all this time. And the part where they get surrounded by the aliens, I, I was like, ah, oh, Casper's gonna like pull something out of his ass and, and stop the aliens finally. And I felt like these individual scenes were, you know, once the aliens showed up, were pretty good. They were like ten tension feel, filled and mm-hmm. and each character was kind of playing their role and you know i was like i was like oh this, this should be like a good payoff and ultimately it just went fucking nowhere so yeah. one of the most egregious moments sorry i'm stealing your shtick um <laughs> was uh when trevante picked up um oxygen canister, canister of oxygen and shot the lid and turned it into a flamethrower yeah yeah. And held it by hand uh-huh. while sure. he flamed through a freaking alien. Uh-huh. It made What's a problem. It made about as much sense as swimming through space. Well, also, um, don't forget that in a previous episode, Travante came across a dead alien that had been killed by fire. So yeah, he knew no, yeah. fire could kill him. I get that. But but the way he went about the creating way. that flamethrower, I, I was like, that's not how that that's, would have no, happened. No, that oh, canister, no. if, if, let's just say, if he had like some kind of a freaking flaming round coming out of his gun uh-huh. the canister would have just blown up right and he would have been dead when we watched that scene kadish said i don't think that's how that works <laughs> <laughs> it's not that, that's a direct quote by the way yeah. right? <laughs> it's kind of the same thing with swimming through space i was watching that i'm like i don't think that's how that works yeah but like it, it, it's kind of weird because casper didn't like sacrifice himself like what was his plan like like he had the seizure and he saw all these well, things he, he, because leading up to that he was like i can stop them i can i can yeah. control them or well, like kids whatever are dumb. <laughs> and <laughs> thank and, you jude <laughs> and, and, and also we had all these images of like the alien landscapes and stuff like that that told us absolutely nothing about what the aliens are or why they're here or like what their yeah. motivation is uh, you know, they spent a lot of time in the show building up the whole language without sound thing. And so, like, you think, like, oh, Casper's tapped into that, and now he can decipher, you know, what they are, and he can he can talk to Hinata. And that that's another thing. Like, can the aliens take people over? Like, uh, Hinata kept saying, like, save us, save us. Who's us? Guys, know, right? guys, remember the two episodes we spent in the giant pit in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. Yeah, Monty, that whole oh, thing was yeah. nowhere. Where'd those kids go? They're dead. <laughs> they're all dead. They're all they're, they're still in that truck remember, eating candy. They're, they're, they're remember on, the they're two the, hours we spent watching that? They're on the conveyor belt. God, we've come so far. Hey, remember that hour we saw with the sheriff who was retiring? <laughs> and we thought he was going to be a big part of the story with the meth head from, uh, from Yellowstone? Okay, the finale episode is going to be the bully and Sam Neill. <laughs> <laughs> And piece of shit, uh, oh and and and, In a Luke, bar. <laughs> and Luke's buddy from the hallway, mm. and Doctor Barton, and we're gonna have five a five hour finale episode of just their storylines and no one else. That's know. my prediction. I'm so glad we only have one more episode. I'm not watching season two. I'm telling you now, I'm not watching season two. <laughs> we're gonna watch Vader's season two. Gonna gonna watch season two. <laughs> Fuck. The, there's gonna be a, a people's revolt. Do you actually? You are think watching that season two. We need the salty nerds <laughs> to watch season two. You guys won't believe hey, hey, this. Do you know how many people <laughs> choose to watch us as opposed know, to the show? Dude. Like it's, we can't let them down. Why is, seven. Why is this our most popular show? I don't understand. I don't. You know what? Because people, people don't want to watch it. People love to see because <laughs> we're like, people. Being tortured, and that's we're le- what this is. We're legitimately salty nerds about. Do you this really show. think that this is going to be greenlit for season two? I hope not. I, I, I really don't. Have no idea. I, doubt I would. It. I would Honestly, be just completely it, flabbergasted. You, you know, my my thinking is that this show was cheap enough to make because, like, there weren't like a lot of special effects in it. Um, that they might do it just based off of like the meager ratings that it did get. Um, and hey, a- a- Apple's kind of like they want the highfalutin TV. Man, if, if Apple needs content, 
we can make Viking cop for him. It's, yeah. it's not that big a deal. We, we'll do it. Or we could, we could just have them pick up Norseman. Yeah. Like, oh. Here's a great freaking show if you yeah. guys want to produce. You are really shilling that show. It's pretty funny. It's such a good show. It is so a really good, good show. I, like when I watch something this bad, I, I have know. to continually remind myself of better things. There's better things out there. And yeah. I bet you that season two of Invasion is going to have Sam Neill on every single oh, promotion. Jesus. No, it'll be some other huge actor from the Jurassic Park franchise. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, no. <laughs> it'll be Gold, uh, Jeff Goldblum or something. <laughs> oh, uh, aliens. Uh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like, 15 minutes. Like, he's just repeating his lines from Independence Day. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, if, if aliens come, they will find a way <laughs> to and take over the world. Yeah. Oh, God. I can't do just like life. But yeah, man. I, so, so Vader, uh, why don't we go through your top things that oh, you yes. hate? Tell oh, us. you want my, you want yeah, my top what's five? What's the top five things you hate less my than My top five list of things that I hate, but not as much as I hate this show. Uh, so uh, you want to go with number, just go five, four, three, two, yeah, one? Five, four, yeah, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, go number five. All right, number five. Uh, I don't even know if you guys know what this is. Um, durian fruit. <laughs> I don't know what that what is. What is that? You guys don't know what durian fruit is? Uh-uh. It's a, it's a fruit. And it's it's somewhere. You get it in like Thailand or, or Malaysia or somewhere. Um, it's banned from most airports. Um, <laughs> it smells like rotting dead flesh. <laughs> People eat it? People eat it. Why? It comes in. It comes, it comes in this like spiky shell. Oh. If you look it up on your phone, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. It's like the it's the only thing that Andrew Zimmern on the Food Network, the guy who eats weird shit, yeah, yeah. won't eat. Huh. Huh. All right. I can't believe you guys don't know what Deering Fruit is. You guys are Somebody's weird. laughing their ass off at you, right? I now. hope so. It's not but us. you know, it's not What's you guys. Number four. Um but number four thing I hate less than I hate this show, a liverwurst. <laughs> I can actually eat a liverwurst sandwich once in a while. I really don't want to watch this show again. They make sandwiches out of that? Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, liverwurst. Well, okay. okay. What, what is liverwurst? I have. N- it's like duck pate or some <laughs> shit that they you, they like make it like a loaf or a, like a giant sausage looking thing. It, it's made from duck liver. It's made from liver, and it's nasty. And it's worst. It's mm. haggis. It's, it's yeah. Yeah, liverwurst. Liverwurst is my number four. Okay. Um, number three. You got a food thing going on. Um, well. Sort of. <laughs> uh, number three, uh, Amy Schumer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, got a, I got you guys on that one. Amy Schumer. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, yeah. I don't okay. like. I don't like Amy Schumer. I don't but, either. But, but but I like her more than I like this, this show. show. <laughs> I would rather watch that ugly hag up there talking about her <laughs> bleeding fucking vagina and making jokes than to have to watch this stupid show anymore. Okay. Yeah, gross. I just can't stand her. Um, number two. Um, so you know I'm a metalhead, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I like the band Striper more than I like this show. Never heard of them. Christian Metal. Oh. Awful. oh. Terrible. They had a hit back in the 80s called The Hell with the Devil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's adorable. Christian Metal. Yeah, it's terrible. Just <laughs> then, then I think they like fell off the church wagons, made, made like some like hard rock stuff but yeah it was it's no good striper you don't know who striper is no dude i don't I feel like no one knows who striper is dude. <laughs> i have heard of striper before i don't listen to christian metal so sorry well i don't either <laughs> i like my i like my metal kind Devil, of devilish. kind of kind of satanic that stuff we were watching the other day was dope yeah dude it was right <laughs> Arch enemy. Go to, yeah, join, oh, our, a, join our Discord yeah. when we and Vader once in a while get together and watch heavy metal bands. I, I introduced him to uh, female growlers. Oh. Ginger and Arch enemy. It felt funny yeah, in my nether regions. Right yeah. Okay, where are we at now? Uh, we're at number step, one. Yeah. Oh, the, number, the number one thing I, I hate, not as much as I hate this show, um, we're going to go with the fruit leather. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fruit leather. Fruit leather. You know those stupid little things that they make at health food stores? Oh, yeah. Instead of you know, fruit, it's, you know, it's, it's like the he- it's the healthy version of fruit roll up. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. fruit, but it's leather. It's hot garbage. And it's yeah, supposed to be good too. for you. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's kind of like Robinson Crusoe on Mars where they yeah. turn that kale into like sausage, yeah. cake, capes, and you know, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mars sausage plants. Those are good. Yeah. Yeah. Fruit yeah, leather. Yeah, I get that. I hate that too, but I don't. Hate I don't like I don't mind that it exists. Yeah. I'm very upset that this show exists. Yeah, so yeah, I'm fr- right. I I I feel you. Fruit fruit leather is like uh, the stuff that all my weird uh, vegan friends made <laughs> for their kids, and 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 they like smash up stuff and mix it and make fruit leather and send it to the school with their kids, and all the other kids make fun of them. <laughs> you know what I hate? Uh, what? But not as much as this show. What's that? Vegan bacon. 
Yes. I, I was going to go with just vegan meat. That would work. Because there's no such thing. <laughs> well, you know, you, you know, when vegans like make their tofu products in the shape of meat. It's a lie. <laughs> I don't understand. It's like, what are you doing? You don't like hot dogs. So why are you forming your tofu <laughs> bean curd paste so <laughs> into the shape of a fucking hot dog yeah. and calling it. Vegan hot dogs. Vegan hot dogs. <laughs> it's like, I don't understand, but you know, whatever. Um, it's fine. Mm. Vegans are weird. Yeah, there's a so. new um, vegan sushi place that just opened up. Oh, so over on the corner of uh, Serene. So it's just tofu rolls, then. And and I, I'm I'm legitimately upset that that place exists. I know, right? Every time I drive past it, I'm like, no. It should be like a copyright <laughs> infringement for saying <laughs> sushi. It's huh? like, okay, so you make uh, rice rolls with vegetables in it. Mm. Why don't you just say yeah. veggie roll. Yeah. Name your place veggie yeah. roll. Oh, they I would go to a place they named probably, veggie They probably roll? have fake fish. Oh. Fake raw fish? Oh, you know what I hate is Ugh. fake crab meat. We need to go there and make fun of them. I don't want to go. Let's get all you can eat. I mean, I haven't had sushi in like a month or two. I'm, I need some sushi. I don't know what the big deal is. I don't get it. Sushi's good. I, I mean, I guess. Yeah, so. Huh? He's, he's giving us the finger. Let's we got to wrap, wrap this up? Let's wrap it up. You guys didn't like my list. You guys are dumb. I like your list. <laughs> I'm trying to think of things I hate, but not as much as I hate this show. <laughs> the dentist. That's good. Yeah. I don't don't talk about my fears. <laughs> All right, guys. I would rather go to the dentist. That's it for Invasion Episode 9. Tune in next week for the season finale. Oh, it's going to be riveting. Where I don't think there's anything left to happen, so I don't really know what the show's going to be about. Maybe the show will actually start, and we'll see an invasion. <laughs> well, well, Vader, do you want to send us off with a final word of the oh, I, thesaurus? I guess I could yeah, find what like is wrap the, up the entire what is episode? The, <sighs> say it. I don't, what I don't is know. the penultimate uh, I don't, <laughs> dictionary? Actually, you know what? Word. Um, I'm just going to keep it simple, and we're going to go with uh, just, it's an unpleasant show. Uh, <laughs> unpleasant that's that's the minimalist i like it yeah gotcha. it's just well it's, I, it's, I, it's I, a I, terrible experience i would like to point out that the final episode is called the first day whereas the first episode of the season was called the last day so uh, apparently the alien ship crashing into the planet is going to have some type of fallout associated mm. with it and they're probably going to set up a season two so <sighs> Thank you, Jude. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, that's it for Invasion Episode 9. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next week, yada, yada, yada. Go to saltingyourclub.com if you want to help support us so we can watch better shows than this. You guys can be <laughs> like, hey, go watch this show instead. Uh, that will uh, get you into the club membership. Don't forget about our December deal where you guys get an exclusive hat for joining the $30 tier, the superstars. You guys get uh, d- Discord access, a bunch of cool perks. So uh, help support the podcast, help support us, and uh, watch all of our other content. Because uh, it's really cool stuff. And don't forget to subscribe. There's like 67% of our watchers on YouTube are not subscribed. So don't forget to hit that little bell notification and a little red button that says subscribe and help us out. Uh, we appreciate that. And like uh, Matthew Cage said earlier, leave us a five-star review so we can get uh, accredited on Rotten Tomatoes. And kind of maybe we can trash. Is, or is this show on Rotten Tomatoes? I think every show is on Rotten Tomatoes. I wonder what the score is. All right. <clears throat> Vader, where can they find you on the socials button? You, you can find me at MattVader74 on the Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And... Um, yeah, I think that's it. Cool. Jude? You can find me at I am Jude Juju on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And don't forget to check out our Facebook page, Salty Nerd Podcast on Facebook. That's Kadish. You can find me at Matthew Kadish, K-A-D-I-S-H on Twitter. Kadishbooks.com will take you to my Amazon page where you can check out my books, Earthman Jack. And also, uh, if you want to sign up for our newsletter, go to saltylist.com. Uh, it comes out every Friday, and newsletter subscribers get access to a private RSS feed where we publish um, not publicly available extra episodes. And I'm your host, Alex the Salty Nerd. You guys can catch me on our Discord app, saltynerddiscord.com. Uh, we have a great community over there, and we'd love to have you. We actually do have a chat room dedicated to this show. So <laughs> I think somebody asked us this week, like, why do you have a chat room for this show? And we're like, <laughs> because we talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, guys, uh, we'll see you next week. And uh, as always, stay salty, my friends. Salty.